So this question is a diagram question because the base information that we're going to use is found in this graph and in this table. Uh, the graph and table represent the exact same information, just one is more uh, of a linear uh, data format and the other here is in a graph or more visual format. So question 13 says the function h defined by h of t equals a t plus b, right? I, I just make a habit to always write equations down when they're given. So h of t equals a t plus b where A and B are constants, models the height in centimeters of the sunflower T days of growth, I'm sorry, after T days of growth, during a time period in which the growth is approximately linear. What does A represent? Okay, so um, first of all, this is in the format of Y equals MX plus B. And they gave us some hints here. They use this word uh, linear, and usually if I see an equation and I see the word linear, it just really triggers my mind to think, well, maybe they're talking about this is the equation for a line. And if it is the equation for a line, then this is kind of the format for the equation for a line. And then that lets us know pretty much what each thing should represent, right? This B, these Bs here are the y-intercept. For, so for us in our graph, that's zero, right? So we see, we see that here and here. And then obviously x-axis and t is the same, right? Our x-axis is our t-axis. And then our a value represents our m value. So a is the slope of the graph, okay? And then y and h of t are the same, which we should already know as well. So uh, reading the question doesn't actually help us to write anything down that lets us know the exact answer, but at least it does let us know where we're focusing on because it asks, well, what does A represent? It doesn't say what does A equal. So we know that A represents the slope, just kind of given the format and the little hints in the question. So ch answer choice A says the predicted number of centimeters to sunflower grows each day during the period. Well, that will kind of make sense, right? Because in this case, slope is growth or better yet, height per day. How do we know that? Well, slope is found from finding the change, and I'll use this delta symbol for change in y over change in x. Our y-axis on this graph is height, and the x-axis on this graph is time, which is represented by days, right? Um, in fact, it would be more accurate, instead of saying height per day, it'd be more accurate to call this centimeters per day in terms of units. So I like choice A, but let's try the other options just to make sure A is the best option. So choice B says the predicted height in centimeters of the sunflower at the beginning of the period. Well, no, that's not the case. Actually, that's B, right? The, at the beginning of the period, B represents the, or your y-intercept will represent the predicted height, so B is out. Choice C says the predicted height in centimeters of the sunflower at the end of the period. Well, no, that's not true because that's over here, and A, or an A, our A value is a slope, not an actual point on the graph, so C is out. And then lastly, choice D, the predicted total increase in the height of the sunflower in centimeters during the period. Well, that gets closer to the right answer, but slope is not based upon a total increase. It's always based upon a unit increase, right? We want centimeters per day for slope, not how many centimeters over the entire 84 days. So D is out for that reason, making me much more confident that answer choice A is the correct answer.